The Maltese archipelago consisting of the islands of Malta, Gozo and Camino lie almost at the center of the Mediterranean Sea, some 93 kilometers to the south of Capo Passaro, the southernmost tip of Sicily. The total area comes to some 320 square kilometers. Today, with a population close to 400,000 people, the Maltese Islands have one of the highest concentrations of inhabitants in Europe, although most live in the eastern coastal parts, such as Slima, the Grand Harbour, and Valletta, the capital of Malta. The island also has a large and modern airport, only four kilometers from Valletta. Thanks to their strategic position in the Mediterranean, the islands have attracted settlers and invaders throughout the centuries, who in turn have left an abundance of historic sites for visitors to explore. Monumental remains believed to predate the pyramids, Baroque churches and cathedrals, and imposing towers and fortresses, all feature among the many attractions. Though frequently referred to simply as Malta, the Republic of Malta actually comprises of three inhabited islands, Malta, Comino and Gozo. The island of Gozo is situated 8 kilometers northwest of Malta and is the second largest island in the archipelago. It has always been invested with a special charm, not only in the eyes of visitors from overseas, but also to the Maltese. The island in effect has an area of only about 72 square kilometers and is topographically interesting with its undulating surface consisting of small but well-profiled hills. Gozo has much to offer in the way of attractions. It has a series of miniature beaches such as Ramla and Dweira and the fishing villages of Schlendi and Masalfon, both now popular resorts. Dweira Bay is also a geological curiosity, since the bay itself is entirely inland, connected to the sea through a tunnel. Offshore there is the so-called General's Rock, or Fungus Rock. Ramla Bay is overlooked by a natural cave named after Calypso, the mythical nymph who held Odysseus a prisoner to her charms. St. Paul preached the gospel during his three-month stay in Malta. He converted many Maltese to Christianity during this time. The conversion of the Maltese to Christianity was quite slow. However, it is evident that by the third century AD, Christianity became the accepted religion among the majority of the population. Malta has a rich element of folk life. Some Maltese traditions are closely related to Catholic Mediterranean folklore. The folk music and singing tradition of Malta is a good example of Maltese folklore not necessarily associated with Christianity.